Old Faithful Geyser erupts violently as four volcanoes stir in Global Volcanic. Chain Reaction The 11th of April, 2025 Global Geological News Desk A wave of volcanic unrest has erupted across the globe in a chilling chain of events that has stunned scientists and ignited widespread concern among geologists and disaster monitoring agencies. From the fuming grounds of Yellowstone National Park in the United States to the lava-choked craters of Hawaii and Iceland and the ash-drenched slopes of the Philippines' Canleon volcano, the Earth appears to be releasing pressure in multiple places at once. At the epicenter of American geothermal activity, Old Faithful Geyser, one of Yellowstone's most iconic and reliable natural wonders, delivered a rare and alarming eruption to die unlike anything recorded in the past decade. The eruption burst forth with violent force, soaring to over 160 feet, while thunderous jets of steam roared through the upper geyser basin. The geyser's eruption lasted nearly eight minutes more than double its usual, display drawing gasps from tourists and triggering seismic sensors spread throughout the park. But it wasn't just the eruption's duration that had experts concerned, it was what came with it. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, reported sharp seismic tremors beneath Yellowstone's caldera, followed by a series of rapid hydrothermal changes, elevated ground temperatures, increased sulfur dioxide levels, and microfractures in the geyserite crust point to rising pressure deep within the Earth. Dr. Nathaniel Bricker a geophysicist specializing in supervolcano systems, warned. What we saw at Old Faithful today could be a surface expression of deeper, magmatic movements. These are signs we typically associate with the early phases of a hydrothermal eruption or deeper unrest in the Yellowstone system. As rangers scrambled to cordon off sensitive areas and relocate visitors from vulnerable thermal zones, similar signs of stress were echoed thousands of miles away. Kilauea Volcano, Hawaii. Lava rises with menacing force. In Hawaii, the restless Kilauea Volcano, one of the most active volcanoes on Earth, has shown signs of renewed vigor. Over the past 48 hours, seismic swarms have rattled the region around Halamauma'u Crater, pushing molten lava dangerously high within the pit's molten lake. Pushing molten lava dangerously high within the pit's molten lake. At dawn today, observers from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory (HVO) captured startling footage of lava fountaining within the cratera, mesmerizing display of volcanic fury that glowed like the heart of the planet itself. Yet, despite its intensity, the lava remained trapped within the crater's boundaries, pounding against the inner rim like a dragon sealed in stone. Volcanologist Kiahi Maho of HVO expressed caution. The pressure beneath Kilauea is building fast. We have not seen this volume of magma movement since the 2018 summit collapse. It's like a pressure cooker. With the lid still on sooner or later, that pressure will seek release. Emergency services on the Big Island have placed local communities on high alert. While no lava has breached the crater, ground deformation readings are spiking, hinting at magma migration beneath residential zones south of the caldera. Hell Crater, Iceland, Eruption Without Escape On the other side of the Atlantic, in Iceland's volatile Hell Crater volcanic field, the Earth is breathing fire once again. Just three months after its last eruption, the site exploded to life late last night in a terrifying eruption of lava, fountains, superheated steam, 
and shockwaves that rolled across the Reykjanes Peninsula. This time, however, the lava did not escape. Molten rock surged furiously beneath the crater's surface, lifting it like a blister ready to burst. Instead of flowing over land, the lava scorched through porous layers of volcanic rock beneath the surface, creating what scientists call a subsurface lava dome, a dangerous condition that can result in explosive freedomagmatic eruptions if water is trapped below. Local emergency crews watched helplessly as moss-covered hills blackened and ignited from below, emitting thick smoke and sulfur clouds. Residents of nearby Grindavik reported feeling strong tremors and intense heat, though no lava reached populated areas. According to Arne Sigurdesson of the Icelandic Meteorological Office, we are witnessing violent eruptions of energy beneath the crust with nowhere for the lava to go. This is perhaps even more dangerous than a surface eruption because pressure is silently building underground. Mount Kanlayon Philippines, ash eruption triggers evacuations. Unlike the contained lava in Iceland and Hawaii, the Philippines' Canleon volcano did erupt with terrifying surface consequences. In the early hours of this morning, the volcano exploded violently, sending a colossal column of black ash more than 15 kilometers into the sky, darkening the skies over Negros Island. Ashfall blanketed villages, schools, roads, and crops, forcing the closure of all airspace above central Philippines. Flash pyroclastic flows raced down the volcano's slopes, setting trees and brush alight in a fiery avalanche. Emergency alerts were issued to over 50,000 residents, with more than 8,000 already displaced. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology (PHIVOLCS) has declared a level four alert just one step below a full-blown eruption warning. Global connections, Earth's fiery warning sign. Geologists are now deeply concerned by the timing and scale of these volcanic events. While these eruptions occurred in different regions and geological settings, the near simultaneous unrest suggests a broader geodynamic shift may be unfolding. Dr. Helena Olfsen, a geodynamicist from the European Earth Observatory said, this may not be coincidence. We are seeing unprecedented pressure beneath the crust, possibly linked to shifting tectonic plates, mantle plumes, or even solar and gravitational influences, Earth may be undergoing a subtle yet powerful phase of realignment. Seismic stations worldwide have noted a spike in tectonic movement, not just around known hotspots, but also in dormant zones, such as Central Asia.